Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel here and welcome to a tips video on building Simple Core. So I want to say I appreciate all the people who are really interested in this printer. Um, I do plan on, you know, making revisions to this printer and trying to make it as good as I possibly can and there's always room for improvement. Um, so I wanted to actually make a kind of a tips video here on the Z. Um, this is kind of where I start building and um, we'll just go over a couple little things, how I build the printer just to help people out. So obviously uh, I start with building the frame first. Um, this is the 200 size build. So um, I have all these parts left over. So these um, 2020 here, they are 300 millimeters. Uh, the bill of materials calls for 350, but there's no real other difference. Um, so I have actually updated the Z parts. So if you look here, I have a new kind of beefier Z uh, top mount here, and then I've redesigned the motor mount just slightly so that it's easier to print, and there's only two parts now. If you look at my 300 build, you'll see there's an extra part here, and you can see all this extra in the back of the motor mount. I've eliminated all of that. So in my opinion right now, the parts are stronger, and I've eliminated three printed parts from the printer. So. I will be updating the GitHub with the new parts. The old parts will work if you've already printed them out, it's totally fine. But I did want to update the GitHub to make sure that uh, we have the latest parts on there and I do think these are better. So generally, um, once I have the frame built, put my corners on and then I will use uh, the brackets here just to square the top and bottom. And then generally what I'll do is I'll start with this back uh, linear rail here, the rear one, and I will attach my motor mount first. This is just held on with two five mil five, M5 by 10 millimeter bolts. And then uh, also on these motor mounts here, I've actually updated the mount so that it uses a threaded insert um, on here. There was already a couple threaded inserts used on this printer. I've added it to the bill of materials as well. Um, when you're 3D printing, threaded inserts are great to have kind of for anything. So these mounts do use threaded inserts and that's to uh, kind of accommodate all sorts of different printers. You don't have to worry about tolerances as much uh, because you can just put threaded inserts in. And I literally use a the cheapest Amazon uh, soldering iron you can possibly imagine. Um, it's got heat control, but I have heat turned up to max and threaded inserts just work fine. Don't be afraid of threaded inserts. Uh, they're pretty easy to work with and they're quite cheap. So again, I, I mount the rail on the bottom here first. I get it all locked down and then what I'll do is I'll mount the top. I'll mount the top rail. I won't have the pulley or anything on here yet. I'll just mount the rail again, two M5 by 10 millimeter screws or bolts. And then what I'll do is I will mount the linear rail. It's held in here with a M3 by 12 on the top and bottom. These do thread into the plastic right now. Again, I might update these parts again so that they're threaded inserts there as well. But uh, the holes are pretty small and they thread in quite well. Um, because we're using M3 by 12, they do stick out the back, so you can put a nut on them. So if if your part is too loose, there's provisions that you can put a nut on the back. Um, if your part is uh, printed perfectly, they will thread in and hold very well. So, but you can use nuts on the back of there if you, if you choose. So I mount the rail, and then generally what I'll do is I will start getting my spacing correct. So, I mean, you wanna get this obviously in the center of the printer. So what I'll do is um, I'll center out the bottom mount and then once I mount the rail, I'll actually use my calipers and I'll measure from the rail to the side of the actual extrusion here on the bottom because we've locked in our motor mount first. And then I'll make sure it's identical at the top. And that way I know my rail is nice and vertical here. So that's how I'll assemble that again once the rear rail is done, I will flip the printer over and then I'll start working on this one. It's pretty much the same um, flow. 
I will mount my motor mount and I'll butt it right up against my corner here. That's kind of my starting place. I'll lock it in. I'll go to the top. I'll put this part on here. I'll put the rail in and then again, I'll measure the distance. I'll start at the bottom here because this is locked in. I'll start in the bottom. I'll make sure this is vertical. I'll lock everything in. Same thing for this one. So uh, very straightforward. There's not a whole lot really to know there. Um, most important thing is just making sure they're vertical. Um, these can be spaced out back or farther. It, it doesn't really matter too much where these are because the bed is held on with just VHB tape. So you can mount the bed levers or the bed ledges anywhere on the glass, right? Um, so it's not crazy important that this distance here is 50 millimeters. It can be 60, it can be 65, whatever, as long as it's holding the front edge of the bed. So you can always tweak this back and forth once you get your bed on there. And I'll, I'll do a video on that once I get to that stage. Um, and then for belt tensioning, uh, so what I'll do uh, is I will mount my pulley here. These are actually set up to be printed at very uh, nice tolerances so the pulley doesn't have any place I decide. And then a M5 by 35 bolt gets put into this to hold the pulley. These are threaded directly into the plastic. They are meant to be do that. I don't really ever plan on including M5 threaded inserts. Those aren't super common. So these do thread into the plastic and there's provisions here so it centers it. Once that's done, then I will cut my belt length of belt. So 10 millimeter wide belt. Um, I will actually just basically take my bed mount here that attaches to the linear rail. I have updated these uh, a little while back. These will accommodate MGN 12 rails and also MGN 9. Same part will work on both rails. So I will um, basically stick in my belt, it, it sandwiches in the back here. It sandwiches in between the mount and the linear rail. So I'll sandwich my, the first part, you know, right up to about here, and I'll bolt the first top bolts down. Not super tight, but enough to hold it in there just enough. I'll loop my belt around. I'll come down to my pulley. I'll loop it around my pulley. And then what I do is I will actually slide the back end of the belt in here. You can lift up on this a little bit and kind of sandwich it in there. And I'll just get it decent enough so that it's holding itself. I'll lock all four bolts down. And then I will actually start tensioning. So there is a tensioning, a 3M tensioning uh, bolt here. You turn it down until this belt's getting nice and tight. It doesn't have to be crazy, but um, it has to be pretty decently tight here. And, uh, and then I lock in the motor once that's done. It's very important that you have your motor set to the highest position so that you actually have room to tension. Okay, so that's kind of uh, a really quick overview on Z parts that I've updated, how you can get to this stage in the build. Um, the M5 by 35 bolts are also used to attach the feet. You can actually see here my frame um, mounts here. So these attach the rubber feet and I use the same bolts uh, just to eliminate parts essentially. So um, that's kind of a really quick overview, kind of a tips video on how I assemble the Z on a simple core. Um, it applies the same for the 300 build and also the 200 build. And then uh, once I get a little bit farther progress, uh, I will actually start doing another tips video. I'm not gonna really call these build videos in a sense because I'm not really assembling the printer on camera, but um, uh, hopefully these will help some people out and um, it'll, it'll be a nice showcase for any parts that I might change. So like I say, I'm really happy with being able to eliminate three printed parts and then make these Z parts uh, stronger and better. So again, my Discord is in the description. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. There's definitely more Simple Core stuff to come. I have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I've got my um, Anycubic Predator here we're gonna be doing videos on. There's a whole bunch of work that's gonna get on that. I still have videos on my Delta, um, you know, other projects coming up here and there. So definitely stay tuned and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks everyone.